I knew this was going to happen. I haven't got all the seals I need. Well, welcome back to the channel. Usual sh stuff. Come to start this this morning. Battery lights on, no power steering. It's fine yesterday. I haven't got a clue what's up with it. The alternator. <sighs> I don't say I've just lost my alternator. But I know she's new, she's not had a long, long had one on it. But I've got 11 volts, so it's not it's not charging the battery, so that has caused the power steering to fail, I think. Always just is about to go out and do something, isn't it? Showing 11 4, go give it a rev. Alternator's just failed. Well, she might have failed. Might have failed. Yeah. So I've just come out to the snow this morning and uh, no power steering but uh, the alternator is not throwing the power out so I've just thrown it on to that car there and used that alternator to see if it's gone away and I've just noticed the belt's come off look down there snap alternator belt that's what I need and that looks like a job and a half as well so that is here out of action for a day or two and feel it. There she comes. There she is. Snap. I don't know how that snapped though. It's fine yesterday. For whatever reason, it snapped. And then I'll have to try and burn my way in there. Oh. stuff to do anyway so I've got to um got to go and do that now. I'll park this up. I knew this was going to happen, I haven't got all the tools I need. So I'm now trying to fight my way in down here to change this belt. It's Sunday. Did this yesterday, Saturday afternoon at about 12, 1 o'clock. Always away, innit? So I can't get any parts till Monday. So I thought I might as well have a go at this now today and see if I can figure it out. I've just realised I haven't got the tools I need. I knew this was going to happen. So now I need to go down the road and go and try and find a funny shape 32 mil spanner. I've got one 32 mil spanner, but I need two. <sighs> Sundays. Right, sounds cool. The only thing I can think of is grinding down this spanner to make it thinner. 
just so it'll go on. So that's the only other thing I can think of, so I might have a go doing that. Oh. Oh, that's difference in the thickness so I need a thin one so I think you can see that but look I've took loads off it now, now just so I can get it in I'm gonna try Not a chance. Not a chance. I need to keep taking more of the spanner. Basically, the problem I'm having is I haven't got uh, the right tools, and these are too thick. So there's a, an inner ring, and then there's an outer ring, and you can get a spanner on the inner ring, but because it's too thick, my spanners are too big. It's pushing the other one off, and it's gripping the other side of the. So as I'm trying to loosen them off, I'm fighting against the spanner. If that makes sense. So if I keep spinning this down to the point where it's thinner and it'll just catch the inner ring and then it'll leave free up that spanner to undo the outer ring. That's the plan. give up with this thing I could not get it off I understand going off reams what I've done it's my car in it so I don't care I've just chopped a big chunk of this plastic off so now I've got a bit more room to get on that see what I was now can't get pulling it is that it just going So I've managed to do it it's just by cutting that piece of plastic off there. No way I was doing that without doing it. You all understand it when I get it off, you'll see what the problem is. And she's reverse thread as well, so you go in looking at it from the front, you're going clockwise, not anti-clockwise. 
in the way. There she is, she's off. So that is what I've been trying to get on to get on there. So what I was trying to get on was this here, and now I can show you. What I meant by my spanner was too thin, too thick, sorry. So I had to get it on like that. So what was happening, the spanner's overhanging the knot and it's catching on the other on the other side. So it won't come off, but there we go, she's off anyway. Now for the bit that it's gonna be even worse. I don't actually know what I'm doing down here. Bit of oil there. Uh, look uh, not look ideal. So now I need to try and get that belt off. Like right, getting this tension off somehow. Is there a knot on the back of it? There is. I'm gonna go try and get that off, drop that tension out. It might move, but I'm not sure. And then to be able to get to these two here. These couple of tensioners there. But I'm concerned at why it snapped. It might have just been a bit old, but I'm just gonna check, make sure everything's free. Mm, that one's a bit stiff. It's been alternating that. You'd expect some resistance there. It's all right. And then them two on that one. They're all fine. They'll leave rent in them. And that's me one for me fan. So that's what I've been fighting with for the last two hours. And I don't um Yeah. And I haven't got the right tools, but I've managed to do it without them just by cutting that piece out of there. So I'll have to put that back. It's not the end of the world. Right, I don't know if you can see me down here, but now I've got to try and get this tensioner off. There's a tensioner here, and there's no obvious ways of how to get it to move. You'd think it would just drop down, but it's, there's nothing there that's giving me the impression that it moves. There's a piece down here, but there's no nothing to put a spanner on it. The only way I can see of doing it is undoing that whole piece and taking it out as one. But it doesn't make sense. You'd think that that would drop down to relieve the tension on the belt, but there's nothing there. So I don't understand. I might have to just put a spanner on the back of it and undo it and just take the whole, the whole wheel off the arm and do it that way. Right, that's what I'll do. I'll do that instead. Right, so I'm going to get this off. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know if that tension is meant to move. Like I say, I'm not actually 100% sure what I'm doing, but I've just took the, the pulley off instead, and it looks like there's been like Loctite or something on there, and the threads look all shiny. So I might need a new one of them. But um, yeah, so I've got that off now. It goes in nicer there and then just starts to get silly tight. Breathe away. And that feels fine to me. So now I need to try and get this belt off. And you can see it there now, it should be fairly loose. It's loose, but it's not. There we go, there we go, that's it. Off. Oh, mini, I'm going to replace both of them. I'm going to put a new one of them on as well. It's not too bad though, it is. Yeah, there's some cracks in it there. Really. So, you know, it's starting to perish and that, so I might as well just do them both. Look at my hands. Ruin myself. Just smashed to pieces. Right, so now that's that off. 
Not spinning. Put on there. And then now we've got another tensioner to do on that side there. I think that one just moves. We have a socket for that and give it a tight knot. So you have to get a ratchet on it, I think. Just to flip the tension out of it and then rock the tension back into place. So I won't do that anymore, but at least I know I'm in now. And I'm ready to put my new belt on Monday when I get my belt. Right, so I don't know if you can all see here, but right, there's a way this belt goes on. So you start at the bottom of the crank, you come round, round your first pulley, tensioner, back, back under, round the water pump, all the way along to the top, to the, to the um, power steering pump, round the power steering pump, down through the next, next pulley, and back up, round your alternator, and over the top of that idler, and back to the bottom of the crank. So you go round, like that, up, over here, round the pump, up to the power steering, round, back down, over that one, round your alternator, and back to the pump, back to the crank. That's it. Right, so I've been and got my other no-co. I've got two of them. Right, she's ready to go now. Go on, give it a whirl. Yeah, go on. So there it is. Belt's on. Spinning great. Got the belt steering. That's it, back then. That'll do. So there it is. See, they are mint things, these things. Like, I give them that, they throw out some power. Like I say, I've got two of these. I've got one here as well. Got my battery. I need some new leads. But this thing usually starts anything. Like I say, it's my little um, thing I made. I put it on a petrol jet wash stand. Put a battery on there. Back to the main video. Um, yeah, she's on. Perfect. New belt. Span up fine. Didn't jump off. It's all moving, there's no horrible noises, everything's spinning well. I thought I wanted to turn it over and make sure it located properly. And it asks everything spot on. Just having a feel in there now, make sure the belts are in where it should be, everything's back on. Happy days right now for the build up job, so air conditioning, air conditioning belt, I need to put the new one of them on. Fan back on. This car win. And then we're away, she's back to normal. Happy days. So I'll let that go right back underneath now. When I went online, I don't think you have to take that off, but I couldn't figure out a way of getting it off without taking that off. So basically, I just got to put that back on now, but it is fine. I have spun it off, it's working. So that one there is that belt, uh, yeah. that pulley there. The belt's on, it's in its space. I'm gonna feel around, make sure it's not sat up anywhere. No, it's in its space. 
like I say, online, this bar here all comes out. I don't know how it came out. I have no idea. So I just took it off from here. There's a 24 mil nut on the back of it there. You undo that and the whole, the whole pulley drops out. I found that easier than trying to figure out how this came off. So there we go, that's that on. So now I need the fan. Put the fan back on here. That cap, that bit of plastic in first and then put the fan back on. It's gonna be a fiddly job. Should we up and run it first? Take the fan down. <laughs> the same problems I get it off when I'm trying to get it back on. It's probably an easy way of doing this, but I can't for the life of me figure out what else I'm gonna do. I'm trying to hold the weight and get it to spin onto that thing. Imagine how much range off we've got to do this. Nearly 1800 quid for a compressor. They'd want 10 grand to do this, wouldn't they? Well, I'd pay him 10 grand if I had it. Okay. Right, so that's the fan just got on. Managed to get that on. Just to get it started, that took ages. But um, where are we going for spinning that up now? Then I've got to tighten it up. There she is. Try it and just give it a little nip. Any special spanners. What a job that was. <laughs> Fuel saving, like in the old girl.